cool. Hey everybody, Garrett Claridge here. Today we have all kinds of fun Logitech stuff to recycle. Let me just get into this case. I had to keep that locked up so people would stop asking me for these damn things. All right, let's see what we have here. This is a collection I've been accumulating for a little while now. Where am I gonna put this? <laughs> uh, I need more table. Uh, that'll do it. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have in here. I dropped the biggest one. <laughs> I'm a spaz, man. Probably fine. <laughs> it toasted that cabinet, though. Holy! Just had to land on the corner, too. There we go. Now this is... I don't know. A lot of Logitech speakers. Uh, five pairs of Logitech speakers. <laughs> oh, that should do it. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna end up destroying these things before I even get to try them. I keep dropping them and stuff. All right, let's see what we have here. What goes with what? And what did I ruin by dropping like that? <laughs> These all did work, by the way. Uh, I don't know about their condition now. I'm a little hyperactive today. Oh my God. We call that spaghetti. This magic happens when you put a bunch of stuff in a box together. Even if you lock it up, it's gonna tangle. <laughs> so I was going crazy for nothing here. This set of speakers um, does not have a subwoofer. And for some reason, I have two of these things. All right, I got all these powered up and now it's time to give them all one signal. And I had to hit eBay and get something. Shut that off. <laughs> so I got this thing. It's like a five-way splitter. <laughs> it's made for headphones, but it's gonna do just fine in my case today. There we go. And before anyone asks, the old MacBooks actually did have headphone jacks. That blows a lot of kids' minds, but yeah. Oh, it's turning on and off. I thought it was the adapter screwing up, but it was this thing not getting enough power. Yeah, it only says 12 volts on the back, so... I don't have the original power adapter, I only used a 1 amp. I'm gonna have to kick it up to like a 5 amp or something. <laughs> That's how it's done. Oh man, that sounds bad. <laughs> I love it.
waterproof, apparently. <laughs> bad time. <laughs> okay, so after a shitload of cleaning, I'm back at it, and we have all these sticky Logitechs here, but I had to scrub everything in the studio. All my collectible stuff. All these, like, I'm gonna have to take the signs off the wall, I'm damn sure of it, because there's definitely coke behind all these. <laughs> it's just the biggest mess of my damn life. You can't hammer on a plastic picnic table, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you can tell I never drink soda or pop or whatever the hell you guys call it. That stuff is absolutely disgusting. I'm pretty sure it's peeling paint on the floor in here. Oh my god, you can just tell I'm dying inside. <laughs> so let's move on then. I have this half torn apart, all sticky subwoofer. So the Logitech X230, we had this thing covered in water, then Coca-Cola, and it was still working. But now let's see if it does anything after a night of just sitting in Coca-Cola. Okay, it didn't make any crazy noises. No way. That son of a bitch works. <laughs> As if. It's still all sticky inside here. I'm not getting shocked by it. <laughs> oh my god. How? That's kind of upsetting me that it didn't, like, break. So if this thing getting soaked in coke all night didn't harm it, I'm gonna try some table salt. <laughs> and also, to mix with that, we're going with Diet Pepsi. Be a lot more careful with it because uh, I obviously had no clue how soda worked. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh, fuck. Okay, there's salt on the woofer. <laughs> see. Oh. There we go. So we got uh, salt and <laughs> Diet Pepsi. It's like just a transformer noise now. I'm such a screw up. I want to mess with one of these ones. We have two of them. Oh uh, yeah, these are the ones with the fluttering base. Did 
Did I do that? <laughs> oh, stupid wife. Those will definitely just distort all day on that. <laughs> So apparently all the electronics for this setup were all in the right channel speaker, so yeah, I can't plug the other subwoofer in. They probably both still work though. So we're down to two systems here. We have the Soundman 20 and the good old classic Z4. Let's mess with the Soundmans. I'd like to see a year on these things, but I haven't found it yet. It's using the old logo. I've never seen this specific design before. <laughs> hear it gurgling into that. <laughs> uh, I kind of missed on that first shot though. So I actually gave the Z4s a chance and I tried listening to a few songs on them and I could not find any sort of music that sounded okay through these things. Now the satellite speakers they just play like a really high treble and then you have the subwoofer play in this really low Flappy bass. It's like, let me get a visual for you. So here I have a basic 10 band equalizer. All the frequencies are represented in a graph here. A lot of you should know this. These Logitech speakers, they're kind of doing one of these. Oh, they're pulling one of these things here. So this is the equalizer curve I'd use if I wanted to make a good set of speakers sound like a Logitech Z4. Just a bunch of treble and a bunch of really low rumbly bass, like 30 hertz and below. That's the stuff that like rattles everything, but you don't really hear any definition. Now these damn satellite speakers, there's passive radiators on here that are rendered useless because of the high pass filter that's enabled on here. And I'm actually very curious if it's a capacitor inside here or if it's something that's going on in the subwoofer because that's gonna determine if I'm gonna keep the amplifier or not. I really like the volume knob on this thing. But uh, the drivers and the subwoofer cabinet, no. <laughs> so it sounds like the satellite speakers are getting a clean signal, but the subwoofer distorts right away. <laughs> <laughs> And I actually find the subwoofer does not perform well past like not even a quarter on the volume knob. <laughs> like if I have it on flat, you can't turn it up much before the subwoofer totally shits the bed here.
Now as for the crossover network, I'm actually very curious here if it's inside the satellite speakers or part of the amplifier board because if it's in these satellite speakers, I'll definitely keep this amplifier. I like this big volume knob thing and I'm pretty sure that it's going to perform a lot better with nicer speakers. So the way to tell if that high pass filter is coming through the amplifier board or inside the satellite speaker, I'm just going to cut this. <laughs> it's like a rubbery wire and strip this stupid little RCA. Oh, that's super cheap. <laughs> we got one of the satellite lines here cut. Now I just need to find a speaker that I know doesn't have a crossover inside. See if this will play bass. So yeah, the crossover network is definitely coming from the amp, but it doesn't sound so severe coming from a good speaker. Like this is just the uh, high channel going on. Let's see what's going on in here. <laughs> wow, that box is sealed, man. It takes forever to friggin' pull back out. <laughs> So now that we toasted all our built-in amplifiers, it's time to amp things up a little bit. I have my Carvin DCM2000 in the bottom of this rack, and I have put it on bridge mono mode. So we have one signal, 
and like 2,000 watts or something like that going into this one line. <laughs> and just a little touch of smoke out of that one. <laughs> Nice. How about this subwoofer? Fire, I see. <laughs> well, that smells bad. Apparently, you can fry electronics with my stereo amp, too. <laughs> Let's do this little subwoofer from the Soundmans. <laughs> oh my god, the model number FTW. <laughs> yeah, let's vent this one. Give her a little bass. <laughs> oh, that was satisfying. Toxic, man. Okay, break time. Yeah, these passive radiators don't work very good. <laughs> That's satisfying. So this is a 20 hertz tone. <laughs> almost wrote, uh, almost got to 30 hertz there. Oh, that's crispy. I'm not using my remote as a hammer. And why is there two remotes here? Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Holy hell. Look at that shit. <laughs> one way to open it. It's clear. smoke going on though.
<laughs> there we go. <laughs> What? That was cool. Now these have a crossover inside them. Let's just get rid of that. So I'm just going to do one of these drivers at a time. Whoa! What the freak? There must be like a low frequency in that song. Oh no, I'm an idiot. There's a frequency generator running at the same time as the music. That's why. <laughs> I'm like, that song's awfully flappy. <laughs> Fried that good though. Okay, now there's two things playing. Two songs. <laughs> okay, I turned the bass down and I cranked the mid-range up for that one. <laughs> that got loud. Let's get into this other sub. <laughs> Staples. Got a slapper. Whoa. <sighs> oh, as if. see where it broke. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> okay, this one. Oh, he smells so bad.
<laughs> nice. Well, that's about it for this collection of Logitech junk. If you enjoyed today's content, be sure to give the video a like, drop a comment, or subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day. <laughs>